Hey, this is Gus Wade of NYC Apartment TV, and in today's episode, we're going to be covering the neighborhood of Murray Hill and Kipps Bay, which runs from the mid-20s up to 42nd Street on the east side of Manhattan. If this were a small city, it would have three distinct neighborhoods. The Park Avenue elegance, the townhouses in the 30s, and all the luxury high-rises east of 3rd Avenue, which is perfect for share apartments and people moving to New York City for the first time. Many people end up in Murray Hill because it's a short cab ride to the downtown scene. Right behind me is a typical high-rise Windsor Court, a famous building in Murray Hill. The great thing about Murray Hill, for about 1800 bucks, you get a doorman studio, or you get a one bedroom, you throw a wall up in there for 1200 bucks each, you throw in your love seat, and you have enough room left over for a six pack of Heineken. While the neighborhood gets a bad rap, it's overrun with frat boys, here's a short list of some of my favorite things to do in the name. Number 15. In the last couple of years, 3rd Avenue has turned into a booming bar scene and world-class restaurants. Sunday brunch at the Penelope Cafe on Lexington and 30th. Number 14. Listening to live jazz at Blue Smoke. Number 13. And one of my favorites in Murray Hill, Artisanal. And if you stop in, you gotta try the fondue. Number 12. Getting a hot dog for my man Abdul on 38th and Park. Uh, <laughs> Number 11. The Tulips on the Park Avenue Mall in April. Number 10. And my favorite sandwich shop, the number 21, chicken salad, sharp cheddar, and sun-dried tomatoes on a semolina roll. Could I get a number 21 on a semolina roll? I want to say from Lebanon. From Lebanon? Yes. And your husband? Tanika. Really? I don't know why I thought you guys were French for some reason. No, we speak French. Ah. We lived in France. And how did you decide to open a sandwich shop? We love cheese. Oh, it's a cheese shop. We cheese. Love, yeah. We love cheese, so that's how we open a shop. Okay. Because we love cheese. Number nine. One of my favorite doormen in Murray Hill, Lewis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number eight. The chocolate chip cupcake at the Clover Deli on 34th and 2nd. Number seven. My favorite sports club, the Club H and Fitness on 34th in the lobby of the Anthem. Yes, sir. Number six, a cold beer on a hot day at bar 12. Number five, a pastrami sandwich at the 2nd Avenue Deli. Number four, the Queens Midtown Tunnel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Number three, and historic townhouses off of Park Avenue in the 30s. Number two, getting a hot shave for 17 bucks at the classic barber shop right off of Lexington Avenue. And my number one favorite thing about Murray Hill and Kipps Bay, the people. And now let's interview some people who work and live in the neighborhood. Let's check it out. So how long have you lived in Murray Hill? Uh, about two years now. What do you love about it? Um, there's everything here. There's bars, there's restaurants, there's parks. I like, well, Blockheads. It's not a bar, but they have great margarita specials. So we're nice on Blockheads. You guys eat here a lot? Yeah. yeah, we work right up the street. So we eat here for lunch. And, yeah. And what do you get? Margarita. 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 <laughs> That's your lunch? Margarita? Yeah. Margarita lunch. <laughs> They're only three bucks. Right. Really? All the time. Three dollars. Where's your favorite spot for lunch? El Parador. Why? Because they have the best for me. It's really great Mexican food. Hi, this is Gus. I'm here with Julie. She has a dog and a child. She lives in Murray Hill. And we're going to ask her a couple of quick questions. How long have you been living in the neighborhood, Julie? I have lived in uh, Murray Hill five years. Wow. And what do you like about it? Um, I like that it's very uh, centrally located. Uh, there's lots of restaurants and shops. And it just it's very conveniently located to um, the east side, the west side, downtown. And your favorite restaurant? Um, El Parador. Really? That's the second person who said that. Why? Uh, we've been going there for, since we moved there, they have incredible margaritas. Alex, the owner, is awesome. Murray Hill? To live for the first time, yes or no? Yes. Why? Young, hip, urban, 
And the best Mediterranean restaurant. And the best Mediterranean restaurant in New York. It's definitely fun. It's young. Okay. There's a lot of young people. If you're young couples or you're just getting engaged or you're just young professionals moving to New York, that's what the neighborhood is full of. Right. You also have people who have also been married 10 years and have a couple of kids, whatever. It's just a very comfortable place to be. You can yeah. let your guard down and have that. If you don't have the grass and suburban feel that you are expecting to have in later years, in your right. 30s or 40s or 50s, you can still have that minus the grass. You can still have that family, the easygoing, brunch on the weekend, finish work, so go out for a drink maybe during the week, cocktails, about happy hour feeling here. I've placed hundreds of newcomers into Murray Hill, and a lot of times they think they want the hip downtown scene until they see the size and the prices of downtown apartments. After that, Murray Hill looks like a damn good option. Hi, this is Gus Wade of NYC Apartment TV, and I hope this little video tour of Murray Hill and Kipps Bay has been helpful. I look forward to meeting you and making your New York dream a reality.